since we're talking about the county, um, did you hear about the problem with the golf carts? No. Okay. So you got me on that one. I hadn't heard the story. Okay. So here's what's going on with the golf carts. Um, the, the rental houses down there, every rental house on 30A, and, and, and people think 30A is on the right and left side of the road as you, as you drive down 30A between 98 and 98 between the east end of 98 and, and the west end of 98 people, but they've got neighborhoods all up in there. Oh, yeah. And um, a, a vast majority of those neighborhoods um, are rental houses. And now every rental house, just about practically speaking, has a golf cart with it. So now <laughs> you've got not only the heavy auto traffic that the mobility plan is trying to eliminate, but now we've got more golf carts down there than you've ever seen before. And the county's scratching their head, trying to figure out how are we gonna resolve this problem? And um, they're, they're kind of taking the Danny Cosin method on finding the solution. And that is you surround yourself with smart people and you listen to them. So um, the person who I suspect, and I'm just guessing, I don't know, I haven't talked to him um, and I don't have a crystal ball, but I got the impression that Mr. Glidewell is going to take the lead on this as far as uh, finding a, a good suitable solution. And he is listening to, as his, uh, uh, as his idea person, an extremely brilliant young man extremely brilliant and i'm going to let you try and guess who that is while we do our 720 break and have a few commercials and then we'll come back and i'll tell you who the brilliant young man is that uh has got some really good ideas all right so who's the smart individual i know dan i know commissioner glidewell hasn't asked me anything so uh <laughs> okay so this is this is what i would really appreciate our viewing audience and Walton County as a whole, uh, a name that I hope you're gonna hear a lot of in the future and really pay attention to this young man. And the icing on the cake is he's, he's one of ours, he's homegrown. He was born and raised here and um, he's got an IQ off the chart. Okay, before you nominate him for president, who? Chaz Galloway. Chaz Galloway is, uh, uh, he's, he's a brilliant young man. He's got, uh, uh, he, he, he's more. I love Chaz. I love Chaz, but he's a nut. <laughs> he, he, he mixes humor with brilliance and brings an understanding to the table that most people don't understand. For example, if you don't want to get no more about Chaz, make sure you tune in on Friday mornings at 7 a.m. because Chaz and Debbie Hurd are doing a show on 30A. Okay, so here's, here's one of the comments that I've heard from our viewing audience when I'm, on the, when I'm downtown or in public or something. They'll, they'll come up to me and say, um, who is this sleazy South Florida developer that wears sunglasses and he's really good buddies with Mr. Anderson? And, you know, um, he, he wants to fill in the Doom Lakes and... <laughs> Make and put parking lots there. No, we had but, the, we had the conversation, and even my brother didn't get the joke about Chaz. I said, seriously, dude, the guy's not real. Let's he uses on. he uses um, stand up comedy as a way of making his point. So that is not Chaz Galloway. That is Chaz's character. He's he's acting. Like the people who's been running Walton County for the last Dan, thirty years, you it, Dan, you blow it. You're blowing the joke, dude. <laughs> you can't. You, people you can't. think he's real. There are there are some people that think he's real, and I'm letting and them. That's know good. It. That's good. Then they'll have something to rally against. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, anyway, um, he uses his character to make points. Now. In order to build up, you have to. He uses the absurdity to make a point, and that that and sometimes you have to do that. You have to take things to the natural extreme 
you know, yeah. let's see how far out there to make the point of what is going on. Like our elected officials prostituting themselves by taking all this money from South Florida and Tallahassee because they're going to listen to them and do what they say. That's an extreme example, but it's true. It's a good example. It ain't no different than the townhouse. Or no, I want to talk about Chaz Galloway some more, and I and I haven't told you his solution yet for the golf cart. So we just right, well, we'll have to we'll have to talk about that after the break. Okay. Okay. So back to the report from the Chaz Galloway fan okay. club. So, Any so, 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 so Chaz Galloway, not to be confused with his character Charlie, the sleazy South Florida developer that's that has been buying our elected officials for the last 30 years. And now his his character, Charlie, is a little bit in a panic because Charlie didn't buy uh, Boots or Barker or Glidewell, and, and Charlie's losing control of Walton County because, the, because they've got people in there that he can't control. So that's something really interesting to pay attention to. Uh, when you're when you're listening to Charlie, and you've got to keep it in mind that these are two different people, and to to help you figure out what character he's playing at the time, if he's got those if he's got those cheesy looking sunglasses on, that's Charlie. That's his character. But getting back to the real person, uh, Chaz Galloway, he's one of these. Um, what do you call the ones and zeros uh, binary code? He's a binary code genius, and he knows how to build apps. And he, he he can do it in his sleep. I mean, he's been he's one of these gifted people that's just got a knack um, at high tech ones and zeros binary code. I mean, he can do anything with that. And um, he's come up with this app called um, Discover South Walton, and a part of that app can be. And he's trying to suggest it um, to the county is instead of all these rental houses down there uh, gridlocking the system with their each individual golf cart that goes with these rental beach rental houses down there, he is suggesting that we have like, for lack of a better term like an Uber valet service where you've got uh, an app, you go to your phone, you say, um, I'll be ready to, for pickup at what such and such a time at such and such address. You've got your personal valet there. He fills up the cart. He takes you to the beach. If, if there's room in the cart to pick up anybody else on the way to the beach, uh, he'll pick them up. And what this is going to do is it's really going to cut down on the golf cart traffic because the golf cart traffic is serious enough to where it's now reached the level of our county commissioners and the people are saying, do something about it. Now, they don't, nobody's got an answer for this, but the, but the county commissioners are listening and they're brainstorming ideas on how to, how to find a solution. And um, our county commissioners are smart enough that their go to guy, as far as uh, a problem solver goes, is Chaz Galloway. And he brings so much to the table. And I can't really justify properly everything that this discover south walton app includes but once you get it once you get that app you can do your own booking uh you don't have to go through these um high-tech silicon valley uh companies out on the west coast who are raking in a lot of money just for uh booking vacation houses you can you can book your vacation house you can buy your groceries you can get your wine, beer, liquor, beach chairs, whatever you need. Any and everything you need will be right there on your Discover South Walton app. And it'll show up at your front door, including a personal golf cart valet to go anywhere you want, which is going to really free up a lot of traffic down there. So it, Mr. Glidewell's listening to him and actually Barker and Boots are too. They figured out that this, this guy is pretty sharp. And we were fortunate enough to have him and Debbie Hurd on our Friday morning show. And they have really brought a lot of information and a lot of awareness to uh, Walton County through Coastal Connection TV. And I can't tell you how, how fortunate we are to have him. And he's not a 
he's, he's not a transplant. He's, he's one of us born and raised and he's been around, he's seen things, he's learned and he's bringing all of his knowledge back to Walton County. And he's trying to help us out. He could do so much of a better job of explaining this than I am, but basically just remember this Chaz Galloway. That's a name you're going to hear a lot more in the future. And I'm, and, and it would just, you know, if, if I had a magic wand, um, the next time we have um, elections for county commissioners, um, I would really like to see him join the team of Glidewell, Barker, and Boots. That would be an awesome team. Well, you uh, you certainly would make a great campaign manager. You're like his number one fan. You know, it's easy to sell something when you really believe in it. I, I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. But, but, hey, 